All right, everyone, welcome back. A real quick update on Casper here. Nothing really has changed, as we can see on the chart here. Uh, we're still waiting for potentially this to play out, where we come back down to that 236 at about 84. And from where we are right now on Casper, you can see these three three day candles have been sitting on some sort of support here. And if we lose that support, it looks like we are coming down about 21% to that 8.4 level here and retesting the uptrend hitting that 2.36 which from the low to the high is still extremely bullish here um, if you want to know why Caspa is kind of just sitting where it's sitting we can simply draw a little bitty mini fib here from the high to the low here off of that wick and you can see that it came all the way down here to that 9.4 level and it is a 3.82 retracement on that little tiny mini Fibonacci here at 11.4 and it's kind of sitting in between the 2.36 and the 3.2 here at 10.6 to 11.4 here so that kind of explains why it's doing what it's doing here but ultimately you know it looks like it's coming down here to retest the momentum you can see clearly from the MFI and the stock RSI is clearly down at the moment along with the candles there if we switch over to the Heikinashi candles Heikinashi candles are still printing red no shadow over the last two here so the trend down is still in play as of right now so I'm still looking for a 20% drop uh, to go here on Caspa to come down here retest the uptrend and hit that 236 which is extremely bullish and then we'll make our way back up from there so for now we'll leave it at that on Caspa good luck now financial advice thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one peace out